True Freak Nation, welcome back. In today's episode of the Not So Senior Swing, we're going to be talking about the grip and changing it. All right, Drill Freak Nation, let's get after this one. So right now we're going to talk about the grip. Now I've seen so many people come to our golf academy with grips that are very, very weak, super weak actually, and they wonder why they can't get the club face square or they can't even generate much club head speed with their hands. One of the things uh, I just want to show you on the swing trainer, the way I have this designed, it's pretty much a neutral type grip. So if, if as a righty, my left thumb would move in this position in here, if you could see that, right? And my right hand over it, it's, it's pretty, pretty neutral as well. So when I look down, even with the swing trainer, I probably have maybe about two knuckles showing on my, on my lead wrist. And that's a great starting point. But if you're working at home to try to maybe get your, your, uh, your grip, especially your left hand, your lead hand, maybe a little bit more stronger and show a couple more knuckles, maybe, maybe two and a half to three and a half knuckles, let's say, that will also help release the club head, especially with your driver. So if you're one that is prone to get a lot of pushes and a lot of slices out to the right with your driver or some of your clubs, it may be time to change your grip or fix your grip to make your lead hand slightly stronger. The right hand, I don't like seeing it really underneath or too strong because then that, what that starts doing, it starts making you flip at it and it also becomes maybe just a little bit too much of a handsy type swing. But the lead hand, I would certainly like to see over a little bit more. So let me just show you something. Right now, uh, I have a training grip here. I'm going to show you. And you can get these at home. They're about $10. And basically, we put it on a weighted club that we practice with. We also have the swing trainer wrap that we use, uh, blue and the red. And this allows us to put it on a club. I know a lot of you uh, around the United States have purchased these from me. But this is also a great way to put it on a club and train yourself to make sure that you are, in fact, doing it correctly by color. The color will let you know. But in this particular grip here that I'm showing you now, this is forcing my, my lead hand to show a little bit more knuckle. So I'm showing maybe about two and a half knuckles right there of my lead hand, or maybe on the camera it shows like two, but it, it's, it's a little bit stronger on the lead hand. So that's also a great way to train your lead hand to be stronger. If not, what I would propose, grab your club, in this case I have a driver here, and just take your thumb and you're gonna take your, your, your lead thumb and put it over to the side of, of the grip, which forces you to see one, two, there's three knuckles right there. When I look down, I can almost see three and a half knuckles of my lead hand. This will help you produce some really good club head speed through the shot with your driver, especially if you're pushing shots out to the right. So one of the things uh, I, I know from, from speaking with other clients is that sometimes for their driver swing, they do have a slightly stronger grip. And I'm talking about some really good players that I work with in our area. And there are tour players who also will make their grip slightly stronger with their driver. And again, these are things that you want to go to a range and experiment with. So in the case of a driver, we'll talk about that. Thumb to the side a little bit, to this side. Facing away from the target, look down, you want to see maybe three knuckles of the lead hand. And that in itself is going to help you get that club face a lot more square. And you're going to get a little bit of hand speed as well. So you're going to hit it further and straighter and we'll get rid of some of these big bananas. So Drill Freak Nation, I hope you guys enjoy that. And we have some more really good stuff coming up in these episodes. Keep those emails coming to me. I love them. Uh, I, love, I love seeing the comments as well on my YouTube channel. So we'll catch you guys back again real soon. Peace and love, Drill Freak Nation.